Hi guys and welcome to my OCR A-Level Chemistry, this is for OCR A 2024 Paper 1 Predictions. So I'm super excited that I've finished finally uh, all the Paper 1, Paper 2, Paper 3 predictive papers are out now that you can download. But in this video I'm just going to maybe just give you a few more hints on what we can maybe hope to expect. So. What can we expect? This is paper one, A-level chemistry, OCRA. Remember, these are just predictions. They are based on a couple of things. So they're based on what has come up over previous years. They're based on the general style of paper one that, and things that always come up. So I'm going to split this into two sections. I'm only concentrating on section B, so the longer answer questions, because you know with 15 multiple choice questions in section A, anything can come up. So therefore, I don't want you to be thinking, oh, I definitely need to know what type of multiple choice questions. We'll talk about practice for multiple choice at the end of this video. So the first thing I want to look at is specific topics, but I really have this feeling that our going to come up in paper one or at a push paper three this year and also some topics that you should always be focusing your revision on for paper one OCR. So let's talk about the specific topics that I think are worth you having a bit of paying attention to. So reactions of group two, group two compounds, um, a little bit of like solubility trends in that, um, reactions with water, trends in their reaction, that kind of thing. And with that, just general periodic trends, which could do related to melting point, boiling point, um, ionization energy, all the kind of things that often come up in paper one, definitely have a look at those. Lattice enthalpy and dissolving, I think, is definitely worth looking at as well. So there's always a lot in terms of lattice enthalpy with born harbor cycles, but make sure you also know about your enthalpy of solution and your dissolving hydration enthalpies and how they all relate to each other. Acid base, I mean, that seems like an almost um, obvious one for paper one. And, you know, I would definitely talk about um, acid base theory generally always coming up but in specific couple of things to focus on there that we might sometimes neglect is the actual theory of bronsted lowry acids and bases so proton donors and proton acceptors the idea of conjugate acids and conjugate bases and not simply ka calculations of weak acids i would also recommend kw and ph calculations so making sure that you can do your ph of hydroxides i.e. basic solutions using KW. And in terms of rates, I recommend obviously rate graphs and rate equations, but when I say rate graphs, making sure that you know what you can do with rates graphs and not just recognize the shapes, but know, for example, how you would prove from a first order curve that it is first order using half-lifes, that kind of thing, and being able to measure tangents, calculate gradients, from rates graphs and not just assume that it's going to always be a table of different things to get a rate equation. Obviously, rate equations, rate constant, units for rate constant, really, really help on orders, that kind of thing, which sort of leads us on to always revise. So always revise rate equations and orders and make sure you're happy with those. Um, but other things to always be bearing in mind for paper one could be bonding and structure. Absolutely. So making sure you know the essential stuff to do with um, ionic, metallic and covalent, giant covalent versus molecular covalent. Just being able to do those comparisons of different compounds, which also comes into periodicity. I shouldn't have to say calculations, right? You know, calculations are going to come up. Titration calculations, um, ideal gas calculations, moles, MR all of those, and of course, also KC and KP. They are never not in paper one, so make sure you can do both of those. Do not assume that just because like last year was KP that this year will be KC. Make sure you're confident in both because they usually both come up. What else always comes up is our transition metal reactions. Within that, complexes, ligand exchange reactions, adding base, precipitation reactions, 
and that links into our inorganic analysis. So you do not want to be the person that loses silly marks, easy marks, because you can't remember the test for a sulfate iron or a chloride iron or what you add. So make sure that you know your inorganic analysis. Get some flashcards out, work on that, make sure you know the basics before you do like the big calculation questions and things like that. Okay, um, things on my website that could help you revise, some of it's free, some of it a few pounds. So retrieval practice quizzes, those are all free. Make sure if you're not signed up to my mailing list that you do sign up to that, but I'm not sending so many out this time of year because it's kind of the end of the year in terms of retrieval practice, but they're still really helpful. Um, I also have this other set of 101 different questions to help you just prepare and revise your general chemistry content. Um, there's also different sections for inorganic, physical and organic chemistry with practice questions and walkthroughs that you can go through for free. I've also got a set of 50 A-level multiple choice questions. We talked about practicing those for your paper one and paper two practice. They're all mixed up and they all come with a video walkthrough so that if you get stuck, you can try those out and see what the explanation is. And those are all free. If you're looking for something really intense to get you ahead, then May half term next week, I've got one day courses. Um, OCRA is going to be on the 28th, which is the Tuesday of half term. It's six hours of online tuition. It's only small groups. I don't allow more than 10 students in a group. So that means that you can ask loads of questions. We are going to be focusing on the calculations on the physical side, the KC, the KP, the acid base calculations. We're going to have a whole section focusing on organic chemistry. We're going to look at practical. So that's going to get you ready for paper three. And we are also going to look at the synoptic stuff with paper three and like the real core stuff that you should know really well, like the bonding structure, periodic trends. If you can't make that or you're not fancy that or you want to do things more at your own pace, you can go for the Masterclass Revision packages, which is 22 hours of different topics, um, really focused questions. Uh, these are recorded classes based on exam technique, getting you to that A, A star grade. And they all come with some more easy practice questions to like, you know, get you used to it. Before the exams, I'm going to have a paper one, paper two, paper three class as well. Best way to know about those, be on the mailing list and then you won't miss it. And of course, you can buy right now practice papers. So there are two years worth of practice papers for OCRA. So these are not past papers. These are the last year and the year before's predicted papers. And then we've got 2024 20, predicted papers. Paper one, paper two, paper three, all available right now, all with mark schemes and soon with video walkthroughs as well. And my extended response booklet. So this is designed to practice six marker questions, even seven or eight marker longer questions, um, all with big full mark schemes and explanations and tips about where students go wrong and that kind of thing as well. So all of that. Top half of that is free. Make sure you're on my mailing list. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and I'll put up soon my other predictions for paper two and paper three. And good luck in your chemistry exams this year.